morning. Welcome back to Two Tall Stitchers. I'm Carol, this is my daughter Jennifer, and we are sitting here today looking out at a beautiful snow-covered yard, yeah. which really gets both of us excited, especially <laughs> me. You can see I even wore my special shirt yeah. that, that came from Vail in the snow, and um, I have my snowman earrings on, I'm all set to go. Yeah. So we're glad to have you back, and if you're new, thanks for joining us, we hope you stay. Uh, click a like and subscribe, that would be great. And um, we're just both very happy because it's been snowing. Yeah. And I'm really happy because we have wonderful neighbors who plowed our driveway and yeah. our sidewalk, and which is really good because neither of us are in a state to do that right now. So, yeah. yeah. If they look closely, they can probably see the reflection in your glasses. Right, yeah. The backyard. If you want to see the backyard, look at my glasses. Covered. Yeah, look yes. at that. See, there you yes. go. There you go. Now you can see the whole backyard. Well, we are back from okay. Floss Tube um, 17. <laughs> um, we have, once again, a very full table. Lots to share. Previous finishes, new finishes. Uh, FFOs, a little bit of haul. Um, a little bit of haul. Yeah. And some, a couple of really old things to share, yes. which is kind of fun. So yeah. why don't we jump right in and today's quilt of the day is yours. So do you want to? This is uh, called the five yard quilt. And again, I'm not upstairs. I have information on it, but I don't have it here. Um, I can get it and we'll put it in the notes. Uh, what I love about this quilt is you use five one yard cuts of fabric and you cut the entire thing out at once. When you're done, you've cut out the entire quilt, the borders and the binding. I feel and like you might have already had a five yard quilt I in probably one of our did. other episodes. I probably did. But we'll I, look, we brought yeah. this one out because it's got snow it's on winter. it. It's winter. And it's winter. And you know, yeah. me and snowmen. So um, this was very appropriate today. So. I think you've made one of these for each season, right? Yeah, I have a fall one. I have a springy summer one. Yeah. I have a dog one. I have this oh, one. Yeah, I have. I, I've got, it's a fun it's quilt a, and it goes so pattern, quickly. Right? It's an easy pattern, and if you need something quick that looks really impressive that doesn't take long to put together, this is it. And it's lap size. Yeah. Or yeah, a, you could put it on a wall if you had a big yeah, wall. Yeah. 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 It's not. Yeah, a, but not it's a, a good couch quilt. size. But yeah. yeah. Or if you've got a, a young person that you want to give it to. Hopefully they don't go up to be six feet, six inches like my son. But <laughs> if you start them out young, they'll like yeah. it. You could put Minky on the back or flannel yeah. or something like that. And it would really be fun. Yeah. If they have a special sport they like or um, they are mm -hmm. particular. Because this is one big piece yeah. of fabric here. That's so your focus fabric. You could take a good focus fabric yeah. and work around Bicycles, it. you know, you yeah. could do tennis. You could do, not really, you can't find tennis. You could do baseball. <laughs> You could do football, all the popular sports. Yeah. Or college. They or have college, some college yes, themed that's right. fabric. Yep. That would be fun for a graduate. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, but then um, you're getting a kid too big. If we're eh, taking a little But it's still yeah. a lap quilt. Yeah. 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 So. Alrighty, let's start with a little bit of happy mail. We got a thank you note in the mail from our last episode, and this is from Jennifer, who won the charm pack. So thank you very much, Jennifer, for the card. We can't wait to see what you do with it, and we hope that you'll share um, when you decide to use it. All right, life updates. Life updates. I'm all Other than the snow. <laughs> <laughs> we were part of that huge swath of the country where, yeah. you know, this week the snow came through and what did they say? It hit 70% of the country or something. I don't know, a lot. Um, so we got about, they, I think they said officially seven and a half inches. I think we got eight over. to ten. If you look at my front yard. It's, you, yours blows more. Yeah. I'm in a neighborhood with more trees. And your houses are closer together. Yeah. yeah. So... Uh, the official record was about seven and a half inches. But when Cole goes out, it's halfway up his leg. Yeah. And But let me tell you, he doesn't last long. No. <laughs> he, he prances out there, he pees, and he's back. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It, but it's beautiful. And Thursday was wonderful. It snowed all day. All day. I got some stuff done, but not a lot, because I was watching the snow. I did that the first year we moved up here. The first time we had a big snowstorm, I stayed up all night <laughs> watching it snow. I was so excited. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. There's people yeah. who are going to say, oh, I hate snow. I hate winter. Well, I love winter. Yeah, well, I, I think uh, Trisha said that. I'm jumping ahead to questions, but she said on the last one, did you pray for snow? <laughs> yes, yes, Trisha. Did. She did. And I got it. I got and she it. still, she does. <laughs> uh, My does it end? <laughs> All right. So life, life update. Though. I'm off the walker. I'm not using the cane in the house. I'm still working on going upstairs, and um, I'm getting there. It's going to take. For anybody going. who's new, this oh, is yeah. all due to her hip surgery at the beginning of December. Yeah. It's a brand new fancy hip. My third one. Yep. Yeah. And so <laughs> I'm done with hips. 
I'm yeah. done. No, no more hips. No more anything, I hope. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I'm coming along and it's good. And uh, But I've had plenty of time to stitch and work on taxes and all that fun stuff. So yeah, yeah. yeah. taxes. <laughs> um, time of year. I've been just hunkered down close to home pretty yeah, much. Yeah, we haven't I, really gone out much. I haven't been doing a whole lot. Last weekend, um, our local needle workshop for Snickety Stitchers had their annual sale. And you football worked, widow's sale. Football oh, widow's no, sale. Yeah, yeah that's widow. sports, sports widow's widow. sale. We can't call it Super Bowl. Um, and you worked all weekend. I worked Friday, Saturday, Saturday Sunday. Sunday. I went in and worked on Sunday, and that was fun. I did. It wasn't actually that busy, so I wound up doing inventory, and I got to touch every piece of fabric from 28 count up in the store. Probably not a good thing. No, she came down uh, and said, <gasps> "Yeah." I thought, oh, the good gosh, thing was it was go. at the very end of the day, <laughs> but that I don't know if I told you this. The next morning, I woke up like dreaming about some of those fabrics that were really pretty. She has a couple of really pretty cuts that, that haven't been cut into at all and they're gorgeous. And I'm like, okay, I gotta find something to stitch with that. So I literally woke up Monday morning thinking about what I could stitch with the sky blue fabric. So maybe one of these days you'll see that. <laughs> Other than that, um, last weekend my son had his uh, music competition and came away with two gold medals. He plays the cello and it was the first time we got to do that in a couple of years. It was really fun to watch him play. Yeah. And then I think the next day the memory came up of the boys, same boys did a quartet two, two years, years ago. ago. They've changed quite a bit between 12 <laughs> and 14, almost 15. So it was They cute play to see better that. and they've grown both. Yes. Yes. And the playing better part is really nice. <laughs> yes. So that was fun last weekend. And uh, the princess has been super busy. She is on yearbook. So she has been to everything taking pictures, like every sport, every club, um, all of that. And then she's also stage managing the spring play. Um, there's two stage managers, so she has one night and the other uh, student has the other night. So she's been busy starting with rehearsals and building stages and all that kind of stuff. So she's she's in heaven. She's having a great time. Plus, she's driving. No license yet, but she's got... Yeah, uh, she's over halfway now? on her 50 hours. So yeah. we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. Another yeah. two years, she ought to get there. I <laughs> All right, so okay. that's kind of life. Nothing yeah. crazy. No. Um, questions from our last episode. Okay, so before we go into questions, we're going to talk about whips. Because at the end of our last episode, we went on a little rant. You haven't seen this yet. Oh, okay. And um, <laughs> rant, discussion, whatever, about whips and how oh, many whips do you oh, have yes, and how yes, can people yes. have a million whips? And so we asked you, how many whips do you have? And you told us. <laughs> And it was so fun to read. Yes. And about 10 comments in, I was like, I'm going to write it down and do a little comparison. So I, I broke it into groups. And the groups are one at a time, monogamous stitcher. And, and I use these words because they kept coming up. I have a few. So I counted a few as anywhere between two and eight. I have several, which I counted as nine to 19. I have lots, which I counted as 20 plus. And then my last category was holy cow. And that's for those of you who said you had more than 50 whips. So um, what do you think the most popular was? You've seen the comments, but what do you think? Uh, Probably I have lots. Lots, which was 20 plus. Yeah. Not so. Oh. So we had 10. Well, I'll go from smallest to largest. Okay, so at the smallest was the holy cow category. That was 50 plus. We only had two viewers who admitted that they had more than 50 whips. <laughs> I wonder how many other people now, who didn't admit that. <laughs> a lot of people said they had stuff kitted up, but I didn't count the That's kitted up the stuff. Same as it's started. actually started. Okay, and then next was one at a time. There were 10 stitchers who stitched monogamously one at a time. I admire you. There, <laughs> and then the next two categories were tied. Lots and several. So anywhere from nine to 19, we had 11. And 20 to 49, we had 11 as well. Wow. So our biggest category was a few, <laughs> which was two to eight. So let's see, we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 37. And we'd probably both be in that category too. So 39. Mm, I might make several, I don't know. Oh yeah, so 30, <laughs> yeah, so 37. So that was really fun to read your comments. As I was reading them, there were 
Watch this, some common threads. <laughs> um, and she doesn't even drink coffee. <laughs> many of you said that you used to be a monogamous stitcher, but now you watch Floss Tube and you have to stitch all the things. So it has contributed to more whips. That would be. Guilty. <laughs> okay. A lot of you who stitch multiple things, a theme that kept coming up is variety is important. Like one day I might want to stitch on a big project. The next day I might want to stitch on a small one. Or I might not feel like stitching Christmas stuff in June. So for a lot of you, the variety was really important that you had lots of things to choose from so that you could pick up um and just do what you felt like that day i think we both kind of stitched yeah, that way yeah we stitch yeah. somewhat for seasons but we both just kind of pick up Throw whatever yeah go calls us um the other thing that came up stitching and fully finishing are very different so there <laughs> yes. were a lot of us who might have a lot of finished oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. projects but not <laughs> ffo yep we're guilty uh there are a lot of you who are also quilters and said, don't even ask about the quilt whips, which I thought was funny. Um, me too. <laughs> you know what I find funny? Because I thought about this. So this all had me reflecting on my own whips as I was reading all these. I'm very different when it comes to stitching and quilting. And a lot of people said that as well. Or knitting or crochet. Yeah. Like the different hobby they handle very differently. Like quilting, most of the time I will go all the way to a finished stop top and then stop although right. now that i'm saying it out loud that's not much different than going to a finished it's stitch piece and, and not ffoing it so maybe, never mind okay <laughs> and <laughs> the last the last common thread is um we're not going to talk about how many patterns we have no or kitted up projects no, no, in the wings no definitely so not. that's your report out uh, very fun. So we're going to have another question for you at the end of the episode today. Um, maybe not as uh, exciting as that one, but I thought that was really fun. So thanks to everybody yes. who took a minute to that was neat. Uh, count their whips or tell us how many they had. And see, I didn't have to do it because I can't get upstairs. Yeah. Of course, if I counted the whips that I had downstairs, then I would be in one of those few. categories. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. she helped me drag them all down. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now we can go into the other questions. Becky asked... Can she do the Miss Corner Challenge if she's not on Instagram? Of course. Yeah, of course. course. Yeah. So we actually had um, one stitcher send us a picture of her finished Miss Corner. That's what I say. Send an yeah. email to, you know, in an email to two tall stitchers at gmail.com. Yep. And we'll post it. Yeah. And not why don't problem. we take a pause right here and we'll show, and I'll put her name too, because I can't remember <laughs> her name, but we'll show the finished Miss Corner that came in uh, to our email just a little bit ago. All right, um, so Becky, please join us. And whether or not you're on Instagram, whether or not you matter. post, it doesn't yep. matter. Yep. Yeah. Um, Kathy asked, "Are we going to StitchCon?" Probably not. No, not this year. No. Um, between our two Stitch retreats that we're hosting and our two quilt retreats that we attend, and my job. <laughs> <laughs> we we would love to go to more retreats, but I just don't have the time yeah, at this point yeah. in my life to do that. So yeah. maybe in the future. I would like to go to StitchCon. I would like, to, would go, like to go. And I just saw Keepsakes, who hosts that, also had another Stitch Away or yeah, something stitch away over retreat. the winter. I'd, love to go to that I'd one. like to go to that one oh, too. That, so, yes, definitely. You know, one of these days <laughs> we'll get yeah. more in. Um, I'm going to live forever so that when she retires, we can still do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good plan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Catherine asked, um, did I use batting when I used Minky or Cuddle as a quilt back, the quilt I showed last time? I do use batting on those. I use a very thin, um, usually a warm and natural or warm and white batting, just because I like the extra heft and um, the warmth. Because usually the ones I put Minky on, those are the ones we have on our couch in the winter. Okay, um, Kathleen asked what colors I used on Scarlet House. And I think we just missed her comment in the episode before. And she asked it again and I caught it this time. So this is the piece she was asking about. I showed in the finish parade from the end of 2021. And this is the Scarlet House Love. And um, 
Kathleen, I looked through all the thread colors and this was the only one that I could say definitively I used. So this is an old classic color works when it was Crescent Colors and it's called Carry Berry. And I know that was my pink. I did not find anything that looked like a variegated red that matched this. And as I look at this red, it doesn't look variegated, variegated. to me. So my guess is my red and white were DMCs and yeah. I just used the pink for the place where I wanted the variegation to show up. And you certainly could just pick out a DMC that looks good with those. Yeah, you wouldn't need a, I wouldn't use a, I wouldn't use a fancy floss on that because uh, it, you would, it wouldn't do anything. Yeah. It wouldn't show. Yeah. The pink shows it <clears throat> in the hearts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's what I used there. And then Mickey asked, what's the brand of the tiny scissors? And Michelle wanted to know where she could get them. The ones you showed last time, the little bits. Um, I didn't check on that. Uh, they're, I think they're called snips or something. I can't remember for sure. Um, I got them at Persnickety, and I've seen them at many cross-stitch stores. And quilt shops. And quilt shops, yeah. yes, both. And someone, I have a couple of people have mentioned that they found them at Joann's or Michael's. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't seen them at Hobby Lobby. And I actually, I haven't seen them at the other two, but I haven't specifically looked for them. But I would, I think your best bet would be um, a quilt shop or a cross stitch store. Yeah. And if you want them, you can get hold of us at Persnickety. Yeah. Um, we're closed today between the snow and Vicki isn't feeling well and we're filming. So, yeah. um, but we'll be there on Tuesday or you can leave a voicemail or you can send me um, an email at yeah. twotallstitches at gmail.com. And I'll be, yeah. we'll be glad to take care of you. Yeah. They come in pink, green, and yellow. I think orange maybe too, depending. Yeah, I think I have I one think of I've everyone. Seen it. Anyway, <clears throat> yes. Um, and I'm sure you can get them in some of the online shops as well. Yeah. Just, if yeah. you just search for scissors, they'd probably come up. Or snips or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Pat asked, um, what do we stuff our pillows with? What do you stuff your pillows with? Um, I usually use fiber fill. Me too. Yeah. Get it at Joann's with a 40 off coupon yeah. <laughs> and have this huge bag and use half of it for a pillow about this big. Yeah. You know, you get a great big bag and you think, wow. And then you start stuffing and stuffing and stuffing yeah. and it's like, where did it all go? I have like three bags yeah. at home that are all open and some <laughs> portion is pulled out. I don't know why I have multiple bags. <laughs> okay. And then I showed, the last thing I showed to... Um, well, I showed one, you showed one, stitched pieces last time, and we didn't quite know where you could get them or what the pattern names were at the moment. So our intrepid viewers found that out for us and pointed it out to us. So the first one was Dreaming of a White Christmas, and I'll try and put a picture in right here from last time when we had that. And uh, that one is an old Victoria sampler pattern. So I don't know if it's still available, um, but if you have a shop that has Victoria Sampler, or if you would look on their website, you could probably um, find it if it is still They've available. retired. Oh. Victoria Sampler, I believe, so I don't know that there's... Okay. I'm, I'm, I, I think they're pretty much retired then, now, Yeah. but chances of finding it on their website, you could try. I yeah. mean, I would certainly you try. suggest you it's look. It's called but. Dreaming of a White Christmas. Um, That's the white one you did? The white yeah. one. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. gorgeous. So search for it by that. The other thing is watch the D-stash groups because, you know, the older yeah. patterns come up from time to time. And then the second one I showed was My Believe, and somebody pointed out, I had gotten it in a kit, but somebody pointed out, it's in one of Mary Engelbright's books. So I looked through, because I have them all, and um, it's in this one. So Mary, it just says, Mary Engelbright Cross Stitch for All Seasons. And it's a little bit different than the one I stitched, but close enough. Yeah. So if you love that Santa. And actually, I just saw somebody on Instagram just started a Mary Engelbright stitch along oh. this week, which I might have to oh, start dear. another Mary Engelbright <laughs> stitch. So anyway, Cross Stitch for All Seasons, if you can find this book. I did see this one come across D-Stash in the last week, um, and that one still floats around now and then. So, And you might even be able to buy it. She has a website where she sells stuff. So. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. And yes, Trisha, I did pray for stuff. Well, not yeah, really. We I was. It. I know. I know. But I was hoping. <laughs> I was really hoping. I thought we'd get some, but this is wonderful. This is good. So yeah. 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 All right. Previous finishes. Why don't you show yours? Previous finishes. Okay. Um, these are old, and again, I can't get upstairs. But this is 
my one of my snowmen. He hangs by the front door. And I think it's a Heinzet pattern, but I really don't know. And we got this frame in Colorado when we were skiing when Jenna was a baby. So the frame is about 15 years old. Yeah. And um, I love it. And see, the snowman is dimensional. And the other day when Jenna went upstairs to get him to hang him up, he, had, he was really loose. And so she glued him back on. So he's got a lot of glue holding him on. Yeah. Trust me, she put a lot of glue he's on cute. him. He's cute. He's cute. So if anybody wants it, I can, you know, again, yeah, I promise, I promise, so I can go upstairs and look. And then this but one. But you think it was probably a Heinz. I Heinz's. think it was a Heinz, yeah. Yeah. yeah we, we did a quick Google search and didn't find it. Oh, and this one I did is um, Shepherd's Bush. Shepherd's Bush. And can you see it? It's 22 years old. <laughs> the date is on the bottom. I dated it. That's the interesting thing when you date your projects. You know, there's no date on my little snowman here, but yeah. I didn't realize it had been that long since I'd done him. But I had a great framer in Houston, Peg Tarantine. She was. Isn't wonderful. that funny? Like how long it's been since you yeah. stitched some of these things? You and I have more snowman it. stuff, but again, they're upstairs and. Jenna did enough the other day that I couldn't ask her to go through the bin and pull out all the snowmen. So yeah. maybe even if it's March and we have more snow, you'll see more next month. But yeah. those are my two previous those finishes. Two previous finishes. Yeah. And I brought one, which is also a snowman. We didn't coordinate this. Um, and this one is called Let There Be Peace. Oops, and this is by Imaginating. I got it in a kit many years ago, um, but I did look and it's available as a single pattern. So you should be able to find this one. This is stitched on what was in the kit, which is, I think, a 16 count oatmeal Ada. And I had this one framed at Keepsakes um, in Cincinnati when they were still doing framing. I took over, we oh, took a, that's, I took the house that time yep, as well yep. that I showed. Um, yeah. Oh, that was a question too that I forgot to write down. Um, the house I showed last time, uh, I think it was from a cross stitch and country crafts magazine, probably mid, early to mid nineties. I hung on to it a long time before I started yeah. stitching it and I stitched it, I started it in the late nineties. And um, then you stopped for a while. And, and I stopped again. and then came back and I think that episode had a witch on the front of it, like a cross-stitched witch, like a doll thing. Um, Cause I remember that front. And the only reason I'd remember is cause I stitched this you mean for the magazine. so many years, the magazine, magazine front. Yeah. So <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I don't know if it's independently available, um, but again, check out the, the sites. Yep. Okay. Uh, Oh, it's not on here, but I have FFOs to share. So my first two are super old. Speaking of old stuff. Oh, and that Let There Be Peace, that was stitched in 2015 and filmed probably a couple of years after that. Framed. Framed. <laughs> okay, so years and years ago when I first moved to Indianapolis, I found Persnickety and I took a couple classes there that were needlepoint classes because I had never tried needlepoint and I didn't, I was just curious. So each year she would have a class to do an ornament. And so this was the little ornament and I put it in the bottom of my box and it, there it sat for probably, I think I did this before I was married and that's been 21 years. So Turn it all around. probably this is 23, 24, 25 years old. And, um, I had this finished by the finisher, Teresa Martin, Martin at, um, she's doing finishing through Persnickety now. And um, I just love it. It's amazing. She found this gold, um, silver, silver. <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay. You guys can see the color that goes so well with the silver that's in the Needle point. So that's a new ornament. And then my second one, which was also same story at the very bottom, is this one. And I hope this you color colors. comes up well because it's a gorgeous blue to purple um, variegation. And she found the perfect threads, the perfect the 
purple batik for the back and it's just gorgeous. So these will go in the Christmas ornament box and they will wind up on the Christmas tree and I'm super happy to have them FFO'd. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Because I wouldn't have known how to do needlepoint finishing because the because the canvas is harder, so. Yeah. Yeah. And then my third FFO, I told you guys last time this would be done, and I finished it off. Um, this is a Blue Velvet by Ink Circles, and I am stitching this as a shop model for Persnickety. I'm stitching it on 30, or I stitched it on 32 count Lugana Silvery Moon, and I just finished it this morning, and I hope it doesn't fall out. <laughs> while I'm holding it. I put Velcro in. Um, and this is stitched with Wildflowers. Twilight is the color. And it does take two skeins. So if you're gonna do it, make sure you get two skeins of that. And this is just one of those box stands. I picked it up at last weekend, I think. We went to Michael's and then Hobby Lobby and found one that was the perfect size and this you could you can hang because there's a lip here or you can set it um, and it is it's just a table decor piece it was not in any of the seasonals it was kind of in the middle of the store where they have all the different displays uh, you know beach themes and all kinds of different cabin themes all kinds of stuff this was not a themed piece it, it had some saying about families in it um, so yeah, so this is all FFO'd and we'll probably run that by and leave it at the shop. So if yeah. you're nearby and you wanna see it in person, it'll be there starting next week. It was a really fun one to stitch. Um, when I just started, I went across and did the top third and I was like, yeah, I need something else to work on. But I kept plowing through cause I knew it's a shop model, I gotta stitch it. And once I got the two quadrants done and I could see the repeat, that totally changed it for me. So if you have an ink circles in your stash or a whip that you've started and just can't get motivated, try and, try and get one of the repeats done because that was just, then it became really fun to stitch. It was what motivated me to keep going. So those are my FFOs. No FFOs from you? No. No, okay. Finishes. Finishes, yes. yes. Um, I have, well, I have one that'll be an FFO next time, but I would just tell you when we went to Hobby Lobby, when you're there, and also Michael's, be sure and check out the custom frames that people don't pick up, because I had, a fr I saw a frame there, and it was white, and it was big, and I said to Jennifer, I think this would fit flea market flowers. And she said, well, buy it. Yeah. So it was a $64 custom frame and I paid $16 for it. Yeah. Okay. And then I took it over to Michael's and they're gonna frame it for me for $35. So you can't beat that with a stick. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's so, it's there. And I was hoping they might finish it by today, but then with, you know, snow again in here yeah. and everything, they probably didn't even open. Um, so it'll be, it'll be on Valentine's Day. I'll pick it up. So I'll definitely have it for the next, um, yeah. next floss tube. But it, I was so excited. I mean, I was going to frame it, but all I could think of was, my God, do I want to spend that much? It's going to cost a lot. Yeah. And then I found this frame. So be sure and That's check great. out the, the unclaimed custom frames. Yeah. Definitely worth it. And in our Hobby Lobby, they're at the other side of the store from yeah. the framing department. Cause I was actually over in the framing department looking for something for that blue velvet and they didn't have anything over there. And then mom told me about this one and it turns out it was all the way on the opposite side of the store in like yeah. a clearance was aisle. It was a clearance aisle. Yeah. 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 And there were a bunch of frames there. I bet there were eight or 10. Yes. Most yeah. of them were really big. Yeah. So and, if you but, stitch but, big things. Yeah. 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 But there were also some, you know, like longer ones and stuff. I have yeah. a couple of things like my home sweet home. I'm thinking about taking that back over there yeah. and seeing if it Check would it fit. Out. Check it out. Okay. Yeah. okay. So I also have been doing some shop models. This one is... Um, the Primrose Cottage Stitches, Stitchers? Stitchers? Stitchers. Stitches. Stitches. And they're doing the monthly uh, pillows this the year. The Nine Patch the Series. The Nine Patch Series. And so this is the March one. We yep. should have probably started with January, but that would have been way too easy. So I finished that up last night while I was watching the Olympics. And then um, I'll Super make that Super quick and easy stitch. Yeah. And what is this Fast. one stitched on? It's stitched on 25 count Pewter Lagana, and it's an eight by eight piece. Yeah. 
So that way it's a good Plenty time to get a pillow. pillow. Yeah. And then this one is the same. Um, this is the January nine patch pillow. That'll be a pillow. And that will become a pillow <laughs> again, I might go upstairs. And that's January and they're just so quick. And yeah, they're super cute. Uh, I'm going to work on February and then hopefully we'll get the other ones in or we'll order them in and then we'll have yeah. we'll have um, um, the rest of them. But they're, well, they're while fun we're to talking do. shop samples, yes. I'll share mine too. So <laughs> I started my second Biscornu and for those of you who are stitching along, you can tag Biscornu Sal on Instagram or Facebook or you can just send us a picture of your Biscornu yep. if you're not doing those. Um, so this is Flanders Fields Biscornu by Heartstring Samplery, and I decided to start with the bottom of it. It's gorgeous. And I finished most of it last night. So there it is. I stitched this while I was watching the opening ceremonies because we love the Olympics. Um, and this is stitched with all the called for colors on... 36 count antique white. Oh, and I'm going to tell you my little tip. So once I got, I started with kind of, I did one quadrant at a time and I did all the greens and then I came back and filled in the reds and the, the centers of the hearts, which are a purple and a dark, almost black color. Um, and I got lost at one point about which way was up. So I took a little scrap of thread and I just sewed it across oh, the good top idea. Good idea. so that I knew which end was up so that my stitches would go the same way. Um, so yeah, halfway, almost done. The piece I haven't done yet is I need to stitch the border around it because when you do a Biscornu, the border is how you bring it all together, how you stitch it together. So that's the last part of the bottom and then I move on to the top. So you can see in the pattern right here where the little red part is. That's the borders and that's where you whip stitch it together. That's gonna to be so pretty. So yeah, that's my shop model. That was a finish. Do you have other finishes? Um, no. Okay, I do. <coughs> Show I've this. been busy. I have them the wrong way, but that's okay. Okay, so the next one I also finished last night. Um, this has been my lunchtime project for a while. It was my travel project. Um, last year when we did a little bit of travel and this is Chili Penguins. It's an embroidery piece by the Birdhouse Patchwork Designs. We got this at a quilt shop. Um, don't ask us which one. One in Michigan. Uh, yeah, Michigan. And it came uh, with the printed, uh, it's not a linen, it's, Pattern, it's yeah. a muslin. And I finished it up last night. I've been working on it at lunch for like the last three weeks. Oh, it's like cute, cute, cute. And the last part went really fast. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with it. The pattern has you doing some satin stitches, um, which I think I'm not gonna do. I think I like it as is. So here it is. Um, the satin stitches are in the bow tie there oh, yeah. and the the candy, candy cane. cane, but I like it the Let way it see. is. Oh yeah. Yeah. It might be cute to fill in the center of the bow tie. Yeah. So this one, my plan is to make this into a wall hanging like they show on the pattern. Um, and this might wind up in my Christmas gifts pile. Ooh. We'll see. Um, next was my Lizzie Kate freebie. I think when I showed this to you last time, it was like 90% done. So this is the three little words, which you can get on Lizzie Kate's website. And I'm stitching this as part of my inspirational pieces. And um, I picked colors, I picked what I had from what she called for, but then I made a few changes. So the pink that I used is Camellia. The green is Scuppernong, and instead of Madison Rose, so it had two pinks in the flower, I changed it to this red and I used Cranberry and I'm really happy with it. And this is stitched on 32 count vintage, vintage country, country mocha. <laughs> Great fabric, see. yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. It's pretty. So that's How that many you have one. Done now? four I think okay. or three I can't remember because I gave one away so oh, that's right. last year and then 
I was on a real tear. Oh, Lord. I think I finished three projects in three days because I finished the ink circles, the one I just showed you, and then this one. And I was like, maybe I could finish five projects in a week. And that was ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so this is Country Cottage Needleworks Snow Place 4. And I'm stitching these all together. So first I'll show you the one I just finished, which is this one. And I'm using the called for, except for the house, I'm using Threadworks for the house. So that blue is a Threadworks color. And then the fifth one is actually a greenhouse and I picked out a different Threadworks for the last one. Let's see. And there's the four together so far. And then the fifth house will go right here. Um, and I'm probably gonna get that started soon. Yeah? Yeah. That's really cool. Oh, I was gonna mention, um, I saw yesterday on Instagram and I shared it on my stories. There's a Instagram stitcher called the Nap Time Stitcher and she's hosting a Winter Olympic <sighs> stitch yes, along. Yes, yes. And so her prompt for yesterday, which was day one, which was start something new or stitch something you started in 2022. So I started the Biscornu, so I worked on that. Um, one of them is stitch part of a series. So that's when I'll pull oh, this back okay. out and I'll get started on that last piece. Wow. But I'm really happy with this. This is on a big old piece of mystery linen that came in a um, bag that a friend of ours got me at a, like a, a garage sale, church sale. Yeah, church sale. Um, so I have no idea what it is. I think it's 28 count, it's maybe evenly. 32. It's not a, it's a, it's linen. a linen. No, you it's a it linen. It's a Zweigart because oh, it has okay. the orange. Okay, yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's easy to stitch on. I like it. Um, so yeah, that's all my finishes. I had so Ooh. much fun. Yeah. Okay. Then one of our, oh, you go on. No, nope, you okay. go. One of our viewers sent us this Heinz it kit, which she said we could either pass along or we could keep. Well, guess what? <laughs> so I started working on it and I was using the sulky threads. I had a few of them and I thought I'd try it. And this has different, um, Oh, this is a 28 count Jobel and Lamb's wool. Okay, <laughs> we'll get that out of the way. Um, and this is this, is this is this yeah. is this is more. It's supposed to be more shaded, but because I wasn't paying attention, I it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I may do it over again because I really like it, and it would be a cute ornament as a giveaway or you know yeah. as, as something. And yeah. so um, it was fun. It came um, with a charm, which is in the bag somewhere. It goes in the L. It, it's yeah, a little it's tree. It's a little tree. Yeah. But, um, so I thought I would finish that this week, but then I got into working on the uh, the store models and so yeah. I just have to do this. That's so, cute. It yeah, should be done it'll, soon. It'll be finished. And you have enough room, you can probably do stitch one. it again down yeah. here. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a piece of scrap fabric I got up at House of Stitches. Yeah. And when I pulled this out to look, I was like, oh my goodness. That'll work. I actually have that yeah. fabric. Yeah. So that was kind of shocking. And then the other one is, um, you know, I've been working on the, um, let me get it out of the bag. Rovaris. The Rovaris. Home sweet home. Yeah, my home sweet home. And um, this is the pattern. And I have been working on that for a while, but I got my act together and I got, oh, oh there you go, thank you. I got the home line done and I'm working up and down. And um, this is not a fast stitch because there's a lot of counting. Bring it this way. Whoops. Yeah. There, and, now it's yeah, I can't see. Um, but there's a lot of counting and a lot of miscounting. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, I'm really enjoying it. And so this is the whole thing that I'll have. When it, does it show? Yeah. Yeah. Bring it so, back just a so little there, bit more so there. I'm just about. I'm I'm closing in on a finish. So yeah. if I do that. Um, um, stitch along for the Olympics, that might work. Oh, because there's yeah. one that's Olympic colors, which that would oh, count for. Oh, that would work. The yes. colors of the Olympic the rings. rings. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's a possibility. It's a fun little challenge. So yeah. that's all I have that I've really been working on. Yeah. And, uh, I have two whips. I actually, like I said, I was thinking a lot about whips while I was reading all your comments. And <laughs> I realized for me, did I say this already? For me, I, I'm in that a few range, but I don't like to have whips for a long, long time. So 
I gotta move them through. Yeah. So if I haven't worked on something for a while, I gotta pull it out and work on it. So you'll see one of those. But then I also, finally, I was kind of mad at this winter bell pull when I started it because I didn't like how the white was showing up. So I pulled it back out, put on my big girl pants and said, okay, let's try a few different whites. And um, then I started going down. So that's by Tiny Modernist. This is still easily available. Um, oh yeah, we just yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. And so here's my progress. So you can see I started going down, started going up. I thought I had to start that border because if I wait to the end, I would never finish it because <laughs> it goes all the way around. Um, so here's the deal with the whites. Okay, so okay. the snowman is in anchor white and that's the one I thought, eh, not showing up so well. So then right here, is supposed to be the word falls. So I started stitching that in B5200 and it looks exactly like the anchor to me. I don't see much difference. I also pulled out 3865, a DMC color that got totally lost in this fabric. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna stick with the anchor white, but what I'm gonna do is instead of stitching the words in white, I think I'm gonna change them. So I think, can you hold up the pattern? I think I'm gonna look for another pink that's a little bit lighter than this pink that you see in the flowers. And I'll use that to stitch the words that are supposed to be in white. So you can actually read them. And then I think like the actual snowman, the snow globe, the top of the hot chocolate, like those things will be okay that where it's just a little bit of white, but where yeah. it's a big part, I think I'm gonna change up the color. But I am okay. stitching this one on, I forgot. I don't remember what it is. It, it's it it's, uh, it's the sparkly stuff. Um, <laughs> one moment. The sparkly stuff, just go in and ask for the sparkly stuff that Jennifer's yeah. using. And, okay, and no, here, I got my bag. Here it is. Okay. It is 28 count picture this plus in gossamer. And it's got sparkles in it. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the sparkly part or not. Yeah. But you know, the other thing you could do with the words is yeah. you could outline them in one of the lighter blues. I know, but I don't think I want to outline. The other okay. thing I could do is I could just use that lighter blue, like see yeah. where it says yeah. nature, nature listens. listens. Yeah, I could would. do when snow falls. But what I thought I'd do is get a little bit more in and see how that works. But that, that might be a solution. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna keep so. going. I think the biggest issue is the words because even looking here, you can see that snowman pretty well. Um, yeah. It's just the word gets totally lost. Yeah. So that's the plan for now. And I'm gonna keep working on this one. It, it is a fun stitch. It goes really yeah. fast when you're working on it. I love that about tiny chunks, modernist. Yeah. yeah. I have fabric so, for that, but I didn't buy the sparkly do. fabric. You didn't. You bought a little bit different green. Yeah. So, so it'll be interesting to see how it shows up better yeah. for you. Yeah. And then my last whip, like I said, sometimes I I don't want to keep them going forever. So this is Plum Street Samplers Goody Grimwood, and I started this one actually during Stitch Mania last year. And I haven't worked on it a whole lot. It's my first piece that I'm stitching on 40 count fabric. And this is 40 count stars hollow and which is the called for. And so two things. Um, first of all, I tried stitching in hand. So Liz from Elizabeth Ann can stitch did a really nice video about how she stitches in hand, especially when you're using one thread over two, which I'm doing on this one. And I was like, great, I'm going to try it. And so you see that whole black roof not the one the bird's on, but the other one. So I s tried to stitch that whole one in hand and I got up to the top and I had miscounted. And so I had to take the whole roof out. And and I didn't like the way my stitches looked when I was stitching in hand. Yeah. They weren't even X's. Right. Yeah. Um, and I'm a lefty, so Liz showed it and I think it might work well for a right-handed person, but I couldn't figure out how to do it to get kind of that sewing motion. So anyway, I decided to put it on a frame and so I put the fabric on and I have been going gangbusters since then. So I finished up um, some more leaves on the flowers and I started those two um, roofs and the house there. So this is gonna take a while, this will be a long-term project, but I figure if I can pull it out a little bit, you know, two or three or four days, 
every few weeks, then I'll make some good progress on it. So that's my last whip. So that means I only have right now one whip that I didn't work on since our last video. Aren't it's a you Halloween wonderful. one. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just say that both of us yeah. have always stitched in a frame or a Q-snap or, or a hoop. hoop. And so switching to in hand with soft fabric like a linen or you know yeah. anything like that is, is pretty challenging. And I know some people have, have done it, but personally, I don't like the way it looks when you're doing it. I don't think your stitches are neat. It just doesn't work. Because yeah. um, even with even with these, I, I started this one at the store last week when we were having a sale and it was, you know, it was um, not busy. And I said to Jennifer, oh, I don't have a hoop. So she went over to the Notions wall, took a hoop off and said, now you do. Which we put back and it really yeah. wasn't used and everything and it's fine. But um, even using something, you know, unless, it, well, unless yeah. it's a, a dead starched Ada, um, I'm not or a, perforated paper. Perforated, which, well, perforated paper is totally use different. The sewing method. But that, yeah. yeah. But um, neither yeah. one of us are comfortable with in hand stitching yet. Yeah. Maybe that'll come. I think a lot but, of it has to do with how you learn. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, what yeah. did you learn to stitch? Who taught you? What did they teach you? Right. You taught me, so I learned on a hoop. So yeah. I like the frame. feel of that really tight fabric. Yeah. Um, I can stitch in hand, but when I do, I still do the poke up and down mm -hmm. method. I don't do the, the sewing. sewing. Yeah, yeah, that's I've the never part quite I, that. I can't quite get. So yeah, so that's all our stitching. Okay. So now we're gonna share what we bought. Okay. Okay. Now we're all set up again. And With all the haul. All the haul. We we had a good week before the snow. Three weeks. <laughs> three yeah. weeks. Yeah. Three weeks. Yeah. yeah. Um, First of all, I don't know if she brought hers, but um, oh. Helen D was working on a project and she was showing it and she had the absolute cutest, cutest needle minder. Needle minder. And so I think you can show I, I um, mm -hmm. noted, called Helen D and she said, I, I messaged her and she said she got it on um, Etsy. Etsy. And yeah, it's good. so cute. Uh, somebody in this family really likes reindeer, like I like snowmen. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's really cute. So, of course, you don't order one. You have to order two. Yeah. So, we each have one now. And, and I, I also got her, where's your reindeer one? You didn't, did you point that out? She's got, her on, it was on this, it was uh, on your folded one. one. And this was another one I found. And um, I think they're so Super cute. Super cute. Yeah. So, yeah. that was part of my haul. And then I got floss to work on stuff and then this was the pattern i'm really wanting to get winter whimsies but this is autumn whim whimsies which vicky said i ordered man i guess i did <laughs> now that i look at it <laughs> i'd kind of forgotten about it but that'll be cute for the fall and then i when we were up at uh, house of stitches they had this seasonal stuff which you know how i am this is drawn thread this is spot of spring Oops. This is Spot of Summer. This is Spot of Autumn. And this is Spot of Winter. I just think they're so cute. So when Jennifer was last week with the sale, when Jennifer was upstairs cutting, um, she cut me all the fabrics for these four. So I'm ready to go. It's uh, a Belfast linen, two of them, three and four of them. They're all They're Belfast, all Belfast linen. linen, just yeah. different colors. Uh, pearl gray, light mocha, and cream. So yep. um, that's going to be fun. And they're going to be quick. That's what I tell myself. Yeah. And so that was that was my um, stitching haul. Okay, then I'll show my yeah. stitching haul. So right after we filmed our last video, I don't know why I thought I needed this, but I thought I needed Verdigree. So we <laughs> went to the shop just to buy this and now I don't know why I needed it but I'll figure out sometime and I wandered upstairs because you and Vicky were doing something looking at orders yeah. something and I dug through the sale and I don't know if you guys remember this series a long time ago called Baubles from Sam Sarah Vicky had a ton of them in her sale so I got the Q is for quilt and April so maybe she did months and then she did alphabet. I don't know. But I just thought they were cute. I um, don't know what I'll stitch them on. 
um, when, whatever, they're just going into the stash. And then last week, it's kind of dangerous to work when the, everything's on sale at the store. So first I picked up my next shop model. And so this is Country Cottage Needleworks. Love lives here. I'm going to stitch it on a 32 count Belfast linen in the color cream. So that is going to get started probably sometime in the near future. And then I was smart. I thought ahead and I went through a bunch of projects and I, ha I have in my I want to stitch this soon pile. And so I figured out all the DMC colors I needed and a couple of weeks colors that I needed. So I got all of those. And then <laughs> this was funny. So I was upstairs doing a bunch of stuff and I think I was maybe cutting yours yeah. and I was like, oh, I need some of that. 32 count silvery moon Lugana for those ornaments I'm going to make. So I cut it and came downstairs and realized I, I had my little post-it note with my list. My list says 25 count pewter Lugana, not 32 count silvery moon, but I still like this. So, <laughs> so I have two cuts of fabric now. This is the pewter. And actually several of these DMC colors are from the ornaments and are going to go on that. So, um, yeah. And then this one I've been looking at for a while. It's by Ori TM and it's called Circle of Flowers. And I just, I like it. So I decided to pick this up. This is all done in DMCs on um, White Monica, which I have at home. So looking forward to doing that one as well. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be a nice spring yeah. piece. Yeah. Yep. So that's all my shopping. And then while I was busy working, you were still shopping. <laughs> yes. On... Tuesday, because we I knew it was no, yes, Tuesday. We knew yeah. it was gonna storm the on Wednesday. I sent Pam my friend Pam a note and said, Do you want to go down to Unraveled Quilts in Spencer? Which is a little over an hour from here. And um of course she said yes. So uh, we have some baby showers coming up and stuff, and so I found these beautiful, beautiful linen uh finals that I'm going I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna make in case they're watching. But I have these two, and then I have this one to go with it. And they're just so soft and so nice. This is the, the flower one. So, so yeah. you're going to be making some things. Yes, yes. For some gifts. Yes, yes. yes. And um, and so that's one project. Here, I'll take this. Oh, okay. You don't have any room left over I there. know. And then um, um, Backdoor Quilts and several others do a, what they call it. Now it's two bucks a block. It used to be a buck a block. And every month you get a two and a half inch strip with the fabric and you get a pattern and you use thangles, which are uh, paper uh, patterns. And paper triangles. Paper basically. triangles, basically. And there's like six on a page, depending on, on what um, what size you use and everything. And so for, t for 12 months, you get the thangles pattern and you get the strip. And then you buy the pack of thangles to sew it. And then at the end, you get the finishing kit. So... We kind of looked at the one for this year, and we were like, hmm. And then I said, you know, and you we, guys have done them a lot. I was going to say You've we've made done so many. Of them. Yeah, and we so, need to have one of them as our yes, quilt yes. soon. Yeah. And um, so I said to Kathy, I said, why don't we just pull out one of the ones we made already? So when we went, this is why and we, pick your own fabric. and pick pick our own fabric. And so this is why we went to Spencer, and um, I walked around and I walked around and I wa I saw this fabric and I walked past it and I walked around and I came back to it again and the third time I said that's it. So this is my my focus fabric. It's going to be my border and stuff and you'll love it when you see it. And so then you get complementary fabrics to go with it and these two are going to be the ones that make up my this is a dark navy uh, that are going to make up my thangles block because normally they're a, a, a two color. Two color usually with a neutral, you know, a white or a cream, and then another color. And in the one we've, we've already done this one, but in that one we use black and white. And this time I thought this would go perfectly with this because it, it really does well. And then you need six colors to do the rest of it. So here we go. I got my six colors and they yeah. go so well with this. So I'm really excited. And I asked Jennifer, I said, okay, do you think you could bring down my cutting mat? My rotary cutter, my rulers, my smaller sewing machine, iron, and, so, yeah. and the iron and stuff because I really want to get started on this. Yeah. So this is my incentive to get my act together and, then your last and get upstairs. Piece over there. Oh, and then this piece. Yep, sorry. This is com this is the complement to that. Yeah, and it's the border. Oh, the binding. The binding. binding. The binding. Yeah, 
it goes with this. Yeah. So I'm really excited. I just So you had fun at the quilt yep, shop. We had fun at the quilt shop. Yes, yeah. we did. I think they were very happy to see us and made up for the snow day. So mm -hmm. yeah. And All then right. Pam got a couple of, of layer cakes. So yeah, we had nice. a good time. And And I ordered some fabric that hasn't arrived yet. There was somebody was having a sale and I took that opportunity. So hopefully that'll be here next time. Um, so I think that's all our purchases. I did a yep. little bit more crochet on my three in one hand warmer. So this pattern is by Yarn Spirations. And it's the three in one hand warmer. And I already finished one of them, but I don't have it here today. But I've started on the second so last time you saw it i just had a little bit of the cuff done now the cuff is done and i've started to work my way up and i'm right at the point this is i think that's the gusset right there where the thumb's gonna go in so um making good progress on that one yeah and i have the sleeves and the body finished for the sweater that Jennifer challenged me to months ago but unfortunately i put them together and it didn't work so I need to talk to somebody who's made a lot of sweaters and find out yeah. about the assembly because I'm really I really want to get it done and I'm stuck. And so um, if there's anybody who's a really good knitter, you know, let me know and maybe we'll FaceTime or something and you can yeah. help me because I really really want to get this finished and work on something else <laughs> and use up more of my yarn yeah. stash. And then quilting, I have my oldest quilt top on my quilt frame right now that I'm quilting. Hopefully by next time I'll have oh. it as a finished quilt. Um, and last time I told you I made a little gift, it has now arrived. So I'll show you a picture of that here. So this is just a little mug rug I made for um, Michelle at Penny's Daughter Shares. And she lost her kitty over the holidays. And so I made her this little mug rug just as a reminder of her little kitty and sent it off to her. So. Um, I, I just had fun playing around with some extra fabric and uh, I actually pulled out my scan and cut to cut out the cat. So that got the dust uh, swiped good. off of it at least. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's, um, I think that's everything we've been doing, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, then we can wrap up. Um, we are full on both of our two tall stitchers retreats. So we'll leave the link in the description below. Um, we are taking a wait list. We just filled up for March. We are very close to March, so I don't know that we'll have anybody drop out, but yeah. um, March and August are full. But if you are interested in going on a wait list for them, you can click the link there yeah. and go over and get the information. Yeah, and um, fill out the form and just email me the form. Don't send, send me any form. money. Yeah. And then if there's an opening, I will contact you. But I do want the form so that I have it for the wait list. I yeah. just don't want your name and your email because I have Actually, I have a book that I'm keeping all this in so that I keep it all together. And um, I, I would I use that form to check out yeah. the wait list. So please yeah. go ahead and, and I mark who's number one, who's number two. Yeah. And right yeah. now I don't, we've had a couple of inquiries about March, but I don't have anybody who sent me a form. So okay. um, it's a possibility. Yeah. Um, plans over the next few weeks. I'm going to stitch with the Winter Olympics. or I think it's called Stitch the Winter Olympics. Yeah. I'll put the hashtag down here. On what that uh, that challenge is. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'll, are you going to do? I'll, I'll stitch and <laughs> hopefully do something that relates to it. I don't know that I'll follow it every day, but I'll try. Yeah. And um, I want to do the Jan the February model for the uh, pillow, the nine, nine patch, patch. Uh, yeah. stitch along that they're doing, the, the series that they're doing. And um, I will continue with my physical therapy and yeah. continue working on going up and down stairs. Yeah. We yeah. mentioned that last time you were going to try going upstairs and you did. I you did. could get about halfway up, but yeah. not comfortable going all the way up. Her yep. her stairs go halfway and then turn and go the rest of the way. So she's good on the first half, but yeah. we don't want to send her up there cuz once you're at the top you're looking all the way down, yeah. which is a little scary. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We'll get you back up there before too long. Yep, I will yeah. cuz I got to yeah. work on this quilt. Yeah. I'm going to work on that. Although yes. I've got a couple others I need to finish too. Yeah. So, so, like the one from last year. <laughs> well, why don't we ask a question? We were talking okay, earlier yes. about how you stitch. Do you stitch in hand? Do you stitch with a frame? Do you use the sewing method? Do you use I don't know what it's called, the 
up and down. Just stabbing. Stabbing <laughs> method. The so, stress relief yeah. where you put it yes. in and you pull it out and you yeah. put it out and you pull it out. So yeah. just tell us how you stitch and uh, maybe we'll have some statistics next time as well. Yeah, yeah. This, that <laughs> Do you was like fun. a hoop? Do you like a frame? Do you like Q-snaps? Do you like to be in hand? Um, or do you do all of the above? So, yeah. yeah. All right. She loves statistics. I mean, I who else keeps track of how many minutes she sews every day? No, I stopped that this year. Yeah. I keep track of how many days oh. I do quilting, stitching, or crochet, but I stopped tracking how Time. long. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's so hard. She used to too. keep track of it at, at retreat. Yeah, and at home, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. there was a point at which I was like, I've invested so much money in setting up a quilt studio and buying machines and fabric and patterns and a long arm. <laughs> that it was a way for me to keep myself accountable yeah. like and now I don't feel that I have to do anything a certain number of hours right. but to me it's important that I do something most days so I think in January I had 27 out of 31 days wow. I did some type of That's crafty great. stuff yeah that's great Alrighty, well, we will see you all back in three weeks. Yes. That'll be the end of the month, I think, mm, or the start of March. Yeah. Um, until then, keep stitching, have fun. Yes. Don't forget to work on Biscor News. Oh, <laughs> speaking of Biscor News, how's yours? <laughs> I looked at it. Okay. I looked at it. I said hi to it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we're going to find a couple of those Stitch the Olympics days that uh, will work that I, for Miss Gordon. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, um, it's here, and I look at it, and I talk to it every once yes, in a while and yes. tell it I haven't forgotten it. And I like the idea of the thread up in the top to figure out which end is up. Which because end is up, yeah. That, yeah, that, that can be challenging when you pick mm -hmm. it up after a few weeks and you haven't touched it, and you're like, yeah. okay, and I've got it in a hoop, you know, so I just keep, it just keeps turning, turning and turning. Yeah. But um, I'll figure out which way to stop turning. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Yes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed us, uh, please click like, leave us a comment. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do. And if you are, thanks so much for coming yes. back. Uh, hope you had a good time today. Take yes. care. Thank you. Have a good time. Bye. Bye.